Today I will show you what's new in Filmora 11, so let's get right into it. With speed ramping, you have better control over the speed of the video. In this case, you have a basketball video. So to find it, select the clip, go to speed, and down to speed ramping. Here you will see 6 different templates that you can use, and also the customize option, where you can create your own speed ramp. For this clip, I will use the hero motion template, so select it, and let's see how it looks at first. If you notice, the line shows how the speed changes, and the keyframes are the points that adjust it. Let's grab the third keyframe, I will lower the speed by moving it down, and also change the timing by moving it to the left. You can do that for any of them. If you want to delete a keyframe, select it, and go to delete adjustment point. Also, if you want to add another one, choose a place that you want, for example here in the middle, and click on add adjustment point. So let's speed this middle part up. This is the final result. If you want to save the speed ramp you created, click on save as custom and give it a name, for example basketball. Press ok and it will be added with the others. If you decide that you don't want it, click the trash icon on top and press yes. This way it will be removed. Next, I want to create a speed transition between these two clips. So let's select the first one, go to speed and down to speed ramping. Let's apply the flash out speed ramp. As you can see the speed goes up and then goes back down. But I will increase the speed at the end around 5 so it ends faster. Then select the second clip and select the flash in. This will be the end result. For this effect, we will make the text reveal behind the camper van. So find the point where you want the text to start revealing, around here in the center, then go to Titles. Search for the default title and place it on the timeline. Match the duration of the title with the video, select it, delete the text. Let's type, for example, Travel. I will change the font to something else. This one will do. Using the group controller, I will lower the text to the same level as the camper van, so about here. Let's close the controller and remove it to the side. Click outside of the text, move a couple of frames behind where we want the text to start revealing. This is enough, make sure the text is not outside of the camper van. And now go back to media. Place the same clip on the third layer. This is when the masking starts. Select the third clip. Go to masks, there are a couple of presets that you can use, but we need a single line, so select it and scroll down to controls. Here you can change the position of the mask, or just grab it on the playback window and drag it to the left. Make sure it covers the text and add the keyframe, this will be our starting point. Now click outside of the video and move one frame forwards. Select the video again, drag the mask to the right so only a small part of the text will appear. When you move it, a keyframe will be created on its own, so you don't have to do it every time. Let's reveal more of the text, click outside of the video, move one frame, select the mask and drag it to the right. If the object is small, right click on the playback window, go down to zoom level and increase it for what works best for you. I will go with 100%. Now let's continue moving forwards. If the masking doesn't look right, you can rotate the line by grabbing the circle on the left and move it. Let's quickly do the rest of it. When you're done, zoom back out, so let's see how it looks. If you are not happy with it, you can go back to each keyframe and readjust it. This is the final result. The next feature I really like is stock media. Here you can use free GIFs, photos and videos from places like Giphy, Pixabay and Unsplash. So let's say you need a video of a dog. Go to Pixabay and search for dog. If you keep the cursor on top of the video, you can preview it and see if that's what you want. To download it, go down to the download icon and choose what resolution you want the video to be. I will go with the highest quality, so click download. When it's done, place it on the timeline. If you want to see every video you've downloaded, go to the downloads folder and here you have them. 
Now we will check out the instant mode, which edits your videos based on already made presets like these ones. So let's go to see all. Right now there are around 98 templates, and all of them have a different theme, style and mood. So choose which one is right for your video. I will go with business. And let's say I wanted to make a video about cameras. Scroll down and see what they have. And I will select this one. Click on use. Now it's time to import your media, so click on it. Here they are, so let's select them. And open. This one is twice, so let's delete it. Click yes. And before creating it, you can change the placement of your clips. So let's make this one first. And when you are ready, press auto create. Wait for it to be done. And this is how it will look. You can still change the placement even here, just drag them. And you can change which part of the video it shows. So let's go on the three dots down here, and to trim video. Let's move it to a point where we can see the camera, this looks nice. And press done. On each of them you can change the titles, so let's select it. Instead of what's new I want to type camera review. So go to the text and click on edit. It will work just like inside of Filmora, so let's type camera review. Click outside and it will be added. When you get the look you want, go back. Let's change the bottom text to 2022. There are many more things that you can do like change the music, for example let's increase the fade in, effect control and also change the different elements. So let's remove the overlay. When you are ready click on export. Let's name it camera review and export again. Just like that you are done. The final thing we will try out is the Auto Montage Maker. To use it, select the clips on your media, right click and go to Auto Montage Maker. Wait for it to open and it's time to work on it. You can choose how long the montage will be. The maximum length for this one is 18 seconds, but I will leave it at 15. Let's scroll down. I'm gonna change the music, so click on folder and let's add this one. Down here you can choose the frequency of the cuts, so fast there will be a lot of cuts, and slow only some. For this I will leave it in the middle. Let's go to the end, and there are different video effects that you can apply to your video. If you drag them to the right you can choose their frequency, so at the first point there won't be any effect, and at the end a lot of them. For example let's increase the glow, and click on analyze and preview. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. After watching, you can decide if you want the effects or not. So let's remove the glow effect. And to remake it, click on Restart. The first clip is choppy because Filmora tried to slow it down, but we can fix it. To adjust it the way you want, click on Export to Timeline. Let's extend the timeline. And let's fix the first clip. So go to speed and let's make it normal. Let's do the same for the end one, change it to normal. And also cut the music so it matches with the video. So about here. You can mess around and add titles just like a normal project. So let's see the final result. Let me know what you think about the new features, and if you want to try them out, download Filmora 11 using the link I left in the description. For more tips and tricks, make sure to watch this other video.